Hey traders, welcome to this video. Just thought I would do another one um, in the same format I did the other day. A lot of people liked that video. They thought it was really helpful. They thought it was great. Um, so I'll do it again. Don't forget, if you want to learn to trade, I teach every single day uh, with my co-founder. You can get that underneath. We trade for income and uh, we teach live on Zoom. So uh, euro dollar is moving a bit today. A bit of long side bias. I have some longs on it. Um, just for anyone who's wondering on the day, uh, I've picked again a uh, more or less random time on uh, on the euro dollar. Um, and there's a few things I would just say going off from the start, um, just so everyone's aware. So number one, when you use replay trading, what happens is you can't, uh, most of you will know as well that I tend to hedge to cover my risk. You can't hedge because if you sort of get long, let's say, um, five micros and then you short three micros, it won't keep it as two positions. It will amalgamate the two and create an average. Um, if you're only trading in one direction, that's fine. Um, but if you're you know, trying to hedge, it just won't work. So that's why I'm doing it purely based on price action, nothing else. So the second part is that obviously I don't know the sentiment on that day at that time. I don't know what news came out. I don't know really what was, what was going on, more or less. I mean, I've got some idea but it's not going to make a difference. And plus, uh, I'm not using lower time frames. I'm simply using daily candles. So, you know, if I was to take hindsight and know what was going to happen, I'd have to really study every single candle because we're doing loads of them. Um, so that's before anyone comments in, well, you knew what was going to happen. That is just not the case because there's so many candles and I've just come on and picked um, a time. Anyway, so going off from the start, well, I. Uh, like I did on my last video, um, where I was 100% accurate on about 40 trades, we'll, we'll look for something like that again. You can see we've just come off from a massive fall. So I know there's a good chance the market is probably quite um, oversold at this point. Um, with that, I can see a bit of reaction here. That is coming in line with all of this support. So immediately, I would like that long. Now, the setup isn't massively convincing um, and again i'm going to go for a maximum size of uh, ten thousand units or one mini lot okay 10 micros i'm not going to go over it i know if i start to go over my max size i will skew my results that is why if people lose money you know they they over leverage and it skews the trajectory they might even be a good trader they might even be profitable in the long run but they definitely won't be if they start to up their risk because when you up your risk it basically increases the chance of bust so I'm going to take a um, a semi light long of three thousand units or three micros. Okay, three thousand dollars a base currency, and I'm going to get long, and I'm going to press play. I've got it on one times big push up there, so we're out for gains. Now again, we come off the back of this, and we're still within a reasonable range, um, like that. Okay, if you look along, so this price within that range. It's somewhat high. I'm not going to go for a full size, but we have got a reasonable push. We know we're fairly subdued in the long term. If we do break to the upside, there could be a considerable move as well. So I'm going to keep the size at 3K. I can see there is a bit of rejection here. Okay, I can see that. So I'm going to short and I'm going to play. And on any reasonable reaction like that, okay, so you can see we've got full, but we're now stalling a bit. Okay, I don't think that candle is going to pop back up. All right, but I do want to uh, lock in some gains. So I'm just going to do it just above that wick. Oh no, I've taken profit. Maybe I've, I've slipped on the buttons. Um, I will reshort this, uh, but I'm going to do it slightly lower at this time. Um, and I'll, I think I'll have to be a bit more careful when I, uh, when I use the take profit buttons, because obviously they slide very quickly. Um, so, we're now getting a bit of loss there, still below our accrued gains. That slight dip isn't a massive drop. And you can see across the board, there is a lot of price action to the left. So I wouldn't be shocked if we get above this high or, or higher, something like that, perhaps. So I'm going to play. Um, and I might be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Okay. Now, because I can't hedge, okay, normally I may have taken a light long on that. To, to basically cover this. But if I take a position of, let's say, two micros, 2,000 units, it's going to close my other one and it will just take a loss. All right? So I don't really want to do that. Um, 
you can see we're still falling. It's not awfully strong, but you are getting a bit of a rally now. And eventually we're getting where we thought. I don't think it's going to stop because of that price action. So I may, if it pops higher, consider a really short note. So we're getting lower now. Still. And it's going along. I wouldn't be shocked if we break the high still. Even though you are trickling slightly into, uh, you know, sort of somewhat of a minor downtrend you can see that quite easy on the eye okay not i don't think or well, you can see weakness to the upside but there's not a lot of it it's a very tentative fall and in many cases you eventually continue but you might not okay so we are there we go so we're up higher now i can look for short number two again normally i would hedge on this support in case you do get higher like that but in this instance i won't um, on the short side, you've got very early support, so I'm not going to sell yet. Okay, now you're coming down. And again, these are ideal hedge zones, but we can't hedge. Okay, so for that reason, if I can, I may just take... No, I'm not going to take a loss at this point. All right, uh, we're almost under it again. And if we do, I'm going to kill this as soon as I can, if we get lower. Okay, so obviously the support is being very well used. All right, and we're still trickling along. So you can't, you're not getting a massive long side bias on this. Um, and it's not getting higher, even though you are now getting this upside trajectory forming. Now, normally I would have exited this a long time ago because I've had weeks to basically hedge it to the long side, which is what I normally would have done. Um, but like I said, you can't hedge with this. Uh, so I'm out on that. Now, on the initial reaction here, okay, that's quite weak. You can see there's a bit of rejection there, but the price is still low off the back of this. So I don't want to hedge it. Sorry, I don't want to get short just yet. I'd rather it get slightly lower if it can. If it doesn't, that's no big deal. So you can see a bit of momentum forming there. And then the momentum's waning. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get drop. Again, I'm just reading price action. So I wouldn't be shocked if you fall here, because if you look at the reaction here, you've got this initial bounce, but then this sucks and it's subdued by these key MAs. So it's resisted essentially. And there's a lot of candle which the upside. So it's telling you the long side bias is fading. Likely there's dollar strength, which you can now see coming in Euro weakness. Again, I don't know the sentiment on this day or what it was, but like I said, it's crumbling a bit. Okay, so now it's pushing slightly higher, anything much higher, and I'll probably look to the short side again. So now you've got somewhat of a consolidation, but that reaction is poor for me, so I'm not going to take it. I'm not seeing anything, so I'm just staying out, which is fine. It means I have no risk. Okay, so now we're popping up. I am going to take a tiny short. Now it looks supportive again. So I'm going to take a very small long in case I'm wrong, which I think is quite likely. That's why my risk is dropped. It's what needs to happen because I can always add later. Okay, so anything lower and I think I oh, missed it. I probably would have normally taken that long, but I think you're going to see it slightly higher. Perhaps so I'm going to add. Oh, so it let me got uh, amalgamate there a little bit. I'm going to take another one. So I've now got three. And then see if we get higher. Okay, so we have. Okay, it's now looking a little bit worse for wear. This isn't extremely good, if you like. Um, so I'm going to take a very light. I'll get two in there. Okay, so you can see that is immediately in gains. Now I'm going to take this. Because if you look how this is going, it's a little bit sticky. So you have your uh, the top side of your lower highs. If you look along the bottom side, you've got continued lows. So it's very likely that price is either going to pop up there, like that, or it's going to drop under this low. Now, I don't know which way it's going to go specifically. And I know that I can see rejection already. So I'm going to kill that one and I'll get rid of all these drawings and we'll play again. 
and anything lower I will start to creep in long again but the price action now is getting hairy you can see that there's a drop there still not ideal for me so now we're coming into these lows but you can see this fall is rather forceful you can see how full bodied that candle is okay so it could be the case that there is a there is a breaking sentiment to the downside for that reason I'm going to take a very small long because I'm trading with risk now again you can see I'm wrong almost immediately but I've only taken a small size, which allows me to hedge afterwards. So I haven't got a trade wrong. For some reason, I think the percent profitable is is probably based on, um, well, if you add, I, I presume that it closes something out. I don't know. Um, but normally it would just make another position um, and it wouldn't close anything out. Now we're pushing to these lows. Okay, key, key rejection there, a bit there. There's a lot of support here and I've only got one up top. Okay, so I'm now going to add um, four. I'm going to go slightly heavier. And again, it will pull this down. Um, and we'll see if it goes up. There we go. So you've got a bit of a push up. Okay, so this is telling me, all right, well, maybe, maybe we've made a low here. And there is some long side bias to come. Okay, so if I draw my parallel lines, it looks a bit like that. So I wouldn't be shocked really if we get to our MAs up here and we get perhaps at least to the 61 fit. I think that's going to be really ideal for a target. I may close earlier depending on sentiment. So I'll play. There we are. So for me, I'm going to take gains there. Okay, now we're back to 90%, which, like I said, we still haven't got anything wrong on 11. Um, but what I'm seeing now is a little bit of resistance. Um, I'd probably rather it slightly higher to short, to be honest. Um, but I don't want to take the risk on my um, longs. I don't want to, you know, sort of leave anything on the table. So I'm going to take a light short because I think we could get higher. Okay, so we did straight to this target I mentioned. So I'm going to add another 2,000, and then that's going to be for me. You should remember, you don't have to always hit this trend line, and it's not going to happen every time. Um, okay, so just bear in mind if, you, you know, if you're religiously waiting for trend lines. So we've fallen a bit. I'm going to close that. Now, note, we didn't get to the trend line, and we're now dipping. Okay, and there's a bit of rejection there. Okay, so I'm happy to take that long. Okay, so that went straight south, but it was only, you know, sort of 20% of a total max size. This is looking very forceful for me. So again, I'm only going to take a light size in case we break lower, which we have. Okay, so we could find lower lows now, which we are. We're really pulling down. We're now very much in line with real lows and no, notice I haven't gone for a max size still okay now when I add here again I'm trading against force but you can see just in there a bit of rejection and if I get long it's going to average me down okay so we can now see we're falling away now this could be a point where we pick up a little bit of drawdown but note how my gains are still beyond that and again if I was hedging this and I can label them, can't take them, but I would label them. I would start to take probably 1Ks on, the, on this, basically to accumulate some short side gains, to start to wash out any risk. Okay, so you're now seeing a bit of resurgence. We might see something like this. So you're seeing price build, so getting a bit of momentum now to the upside, likely sentiment swapped. But you can see immediate rejection there, now taking us to the lows again, and lower lows. So I can start to think about where I would add again. Okay, so we've now gone under this low. Now I could, I think I can go on the weekly without this changing. Yeah, there we go. So now we're really falling and there's a good gap under this low. So current price is 103.55 and your next level of support is about 102.5, okay, 102.2. So what we could do, okay, I think because my drawdown is 
is just still minuscule compared to the capital I've started with. I'm happy to leave it, but I wouldn't be shocked if you do end up slightly lower. I'll leave it on the weekly just for now. And again, remember, you could have hedged all of this. You could have hedged all of these little pops up continually, and you would have been able to get out of that. Uh, but like I said, I'm doing this purely on price action, just to show you what you can do by eye, just by you know, sort of learning how charts form and reading price data more or less. Um, so we're coming up, 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 up. We'll probably get to the earliest level of resistance here. And I think what I'll do is in a sec, I'll just pop on the daily. So you can see what's happening is we're getting momentum again, and there's a very slight uptrend. Okay, you can see that. So if I start to let it go, you can see it's still supportive, pull back slightly bigger. Now you can see it's waning. So we might get back to the lows on this weakness. Okay, now you can see a little bit of both sides of the market. And again, think about all the hedges you could have taken to the short side on here. You probably could have added minor longs there. I probably could have got away with that. Um, but I haven't done that at this point. So really, we want to see momentum back to the upside to um, to take us higher, more or less. And we would be looking for a reversal back towards these much higher levels, or at probably the very least, the 200 MA, because in line with that 200 MA is uh, key resistance. And it would put us just in gains. You can see the momentum coming in now. Fair chance we'll get higher, as we do. Now, at this point, We've got the choice to either kill it and remove the risk. I think it has just played another bar. No, it hasn't. Um, yeah, so I'll get rid of it all, and I'm going to add a. Um, I'm going to add a lighter size because the market is still fairly subdued. Um, in fact, no, I'm going to add a three thousand. So just note again, my. Risk is just absolutely minimal compared to my, I'm going to kill that for gains. We're now coming within what would be a newfound uptrend, tentative newfound uptrend, like this. Okay, so you've got higher highs, slightly, and you've now got a flatter, higher lows. Now this candle as well is very forceful. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful with my risk, but I do know it's an uptrend. I know we're coming to the key MAs. So I'm gonna play. Again, I'm not sure just why this says 82.35% because we've always closed our amalgamated positions. It may be because I'm adding more and it treats that as a loss, perhaps. Well, it's not. <laughs> really. Uh, but anyway, you can see we're still climbing, still sitting on that trend line and starting to move up. Bit of momentum there, so I'm happy to leave it and I'll take that for gains. Okay, so we're still within this, but I wouldn't be shocked if you do get higher because if you look at that rejection, it's telling you a bit, bounces on that 200 MA. Could see it higher. Okay, so we have. And now like we had here, we're getting the same thing on the top, but there isn't much rejection. I would have expected that to fall. Um, similarly with this, I, I wouldn't be shocked if it rises and you break that trend to the upside. Of course, it doesn't mean it will happen, but I'm not going to take the risk. Okay, so you're now getting up. Right, but that would have probably just about coincided with the upside, but now you're breaking it. So you've obviously come well out of trend. The sentiment is now completely to the upside. And of course, you would you would pretty much need to move your trend lines to reflect the sharpness of the near term upside. Okay, so we can reflect on the short side case. Well, yes, we're pulling up very nicely into key resistance um, to the upside. Okay, but the force here is a lot for me. And if I go on the weekly, you can see, we, yes, we're rising forcefully and yes, there is tons of resistance, but it's just the bullishness of that candle. I do think it's a short, 
but the problem is the harshness of it and therefore the reduced probability of immediate success. So I want a bit of reaction, essentially. Now that bar is not enough and it's completely rejected. So if you've ever looked at, you know, bars being rejected and stuff like that, you know, this is the case where it's basically eaten up the short side bias. Now I want reaction. So I've got a bit of reaction here. There would have been a lot of traders who got swallowed there. Uh, price is fairly high. So I'm going to go for a half max size. And we're coming down. Now the problem for me here is the very early support. And it's all over there as well. So I'm going to kill that very early. And any follow through and then a retracement back I would like. So you can see how this is Again, there's not a lot of south side bias yet. If we get higher, I will short again. Probably a bit higher for me. I'm not too keen on it either way at this point. I need a bit of space. Or if it gets much lower. We haven't broken that 40 MA yet. The trend is still very well sustained. You can see a little bit of a trickling momentum, but it's nothing major. Okay, the, the falls aren't harsh enough for me. So. There you go. It was still going higher. That's good. I held off. Tip of that candle, slight rejection, but we are coming into a lot of reactionary areas here. So I'm going to short. Haven't got you know a great deal of confidence in that entry. Hence the third size on that price. Now, if we pull back to very early support, I should think it would be a hard pull. If it does, then I would just kill it because you can see it's still supportive. Now, if we get higher, I'm actually going to add. So I've now got two. Okay, and if we start to fall towards it, and again, you could have hedged long on all of this. Okay, if we start to fall towards it, I'm probably going to kill it off. But my drawdown accumulating on this position is very light compared to the uh, to the drawdown. It, uh, sorry, the the equity that I start with, you always have to make sure that your sizes are just minimal compared to your capital and you will sleep a lot better. Like I said, as soon as you put your size too high, these pushes against you are just unstoppable. Again, you could have hedged all of that. All right. So again, I, I would have been well out of this position, but I still have more gains than uh, the loss I'm accumulating anyway because of the accuracy. So I'm still holding it. I'm willing to still hold. Again, could have hedged all of that. I may see if there's a way to change this so you can have separate open positions rather than one lot. You can see this pool now is not showing much kickbacks. There's a good chance you'll get higher. Now, if you look to the left, you can see more considerable resistance. It's not doing an awful lot. And um, you're starting to climb away from your, from your MAs as well. So you would need a really strong pullback now, and it would take us to this support, which would be very ideal for longs. Okay, so we would have to see how we end up more or less. But if we do get a um, pullback, okay, then that may be ideal. So we'll have to wait again. You could have hedged all of this. You could have been buying it with very small sizes, one sixth of that. And you would have claimed back the money, basically. Right. Okay, so we're now trickling back. There's a bit of weakness there. I've got 20 trades here, almost, or 19 trades. And weakness, weakness, weakness coming in. And we need a good push to support. We know there's layers of support at this point. Price is coming away. I don't want to take, I don't want to add anything happy with where it is based on the way we're trading at least and let it just shift and shift okay we still haven't closed a loss we've amalgamated positions and then closed the lot in gains so you're still not getting the kickback price is obviously supported on sentiment if i can get lower near this I may just close it because it's near support and obviously it's proven very strong at this point and I don't want to just float away from it forever right so we're now getting pushes up bit of drawdown and a 
Okay, so now we're coming up even more, and this gives you a good idea of how far you can drift away from entries. Nice rejection, however. So I am going to add again. Note how I've never had to add anything significant like this, but I've now got a really good um, overall average. Okay, obviously, again, you could have hedged all of this, but it may be the case that when price rams down, we can kill it all. And let's have a look. So you have to remember as well, Forex markets can range, but if you look at the range we've now got, you know, it's a, it's a good long way. You would expect some kind of kickback. All right, so we're now getting a little bit of it. I probably would have lightly bought that just to protect again on the hedge side. Like I said, I'll see if you can do that on here at some point or something that you could add. I would have had many hedge gains. It might be the case you get a big sentiment shift momentarily, big red drop might not again my, my equity is so much larger than the um, average size so it's not going to be a massive problem if you do rally but these are great examples again just for anyone who watches me a lot just think about it you could have bought that and that and that and that and you would have just kept making money over and over again and then you would just use the profits to close out the loss Okay, as long as you trade ranging markets and your sizes aren't stupid to start with, then you can do it because you'll have the time to. Okay, so for some reason, I wonder if they count swaps in this. Perhaps. We should be. Oh, no, it's just because of the line. Bit more. And there. So removed. And you would have had all the hedge gains, but nonetheless, it's 22 trades in gains. And we closed everything uh, in profit. My last one was 40 out of 40. So there's 22 out of 22. And it's just simple price action lessons. Remember, if you want to learn to trade, just go underneath the video and you can learn. I would now look to start the long side bias. But I'll do many more of these and I'll see if I can change the format so it's, it's hedgeable. But the max drawdown on a, on a move like this, which is considerable and fairly rare, is decent. Um, because the capital is so high, I'm not going to have a problem with that. And I'll just be left with with profits. And over time, if you'd hedged in between, you know, like I said, you would have had no issue. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn, go underneath. See you in the next one.